Hi, this is Handman. In this video, we're going to look at dual farming. To participate in dual farming, first, we need to be just plain old farming. In the first of two previous videos, top right, we first outlined how to bridge your crypto from the Celsius network to the Polygon network. Then in the next video, we showed how to become a liquidity provider using the CXETH CXADA pair that we bridged from the Celsius network. In this third video, we're going to take things to the next level and move from just farming to dual farming. But first, there are some prerequisites we need to satisfy. Let's say we provided some CXETH and CXADA already in equal value, and we took those two tokens and provided them as liquidity. So we are now a liquidity provider. This creates a token, in this case CXADA CXETH, and anytime anyone trades in this pair on the QuickSwap exchange, we receive rewards. Those rewards are more CX ADA and CX ETH. Hold on a sec, things get better. Let's first walk through dual farming and then talk about it. You dipped the chip, you took a bite, and you dipped again. As opposed to the video which implies double dipping is a bad thing, dual farming can be a good thing. Let me explain. Let's jump to showing you how you do dual farming slash mining and then we'll talk about it. On the QuickSwap exchange, under the pool tab, we will see the pair that we provided liquidity for. There it is, CX ADA, CX ETH. We can manage it from here. Again, as a summary, that's how much we have of our CX ADA ETH token, 0 0.509. There's the individual breakdowns of the tokens we provided. We can run it from there. If we now go back to QuickSwap exchange under farms, dual mining or farming now we can see what tokens are available to be dual farmed or dual mined there cx ada cx eth if we deposit our token into this dual mining pool here's what will happen we will receive a portion of the d quick and w matic rewards read the fine print which outlines when we'll receive rewards and let's press the deposit liquidity provider tokens, the big blue button for the token that we have. Let's specify the maximum amount. Two steps. First, we have to approve that we're going to let this happen. So we select approve, approve in MetaMask. There's our approval. Now we need to deposit our LP or liquidity provider token to the pool. Confirm that and we are done. We have now participated in dual farming. There's our token that we're providing to liquidity mining and in fact you can see we've even already generated some rewards. Now that we showed you how to do dual farming, what actually happened? What did we do? Recall that we're first providing liquidity by using our CX ADA CX ETH tokens, dipping our toe in the pool, pardon the pun. The double dip part is that we're using our CX ADA CX ETH token pair, which is already earning rewards, to give us rewards again, albeit on two more different tokens. So we're double dipping. Our CX ADA CX ETH are giving us one set of rewards, and we're getting another set of rewards. D quick and Raptmatic using the LP token that we've provided to the dual mining farming pool. So now by starting with two tokens, we are double dipping and getting rewards on four tokens. By improving our diversification and reducing the volatility in our portfolio. All of this doesn't come without risk. The risk of impermanent loss. Let's look at an example to see what this is. Let's say the CX ADA we provided increases quickly relative to the CX ETH. Well, then we're going to lose some CX ADA and gain CX ETH to rebalance the liquidity that we are providing. If we cash out now, remove our liquidity, we would realize that loss. But if we left those two tokens and the liquidity associated with them in the pool, and if things balanced out over time, then there would be no loss. So that's why they call it impermanent loss. 
Of course, to help offset this risk, we are provided with a higher annual percentage yield. Welcome to the world of dual farming. This is Handman saying, see you in the next video.